We did make it. How are you? You know, I'm doing great. And I'm going to do even better by the end of this show. Oh, yeah? 9 a.m. Yes. Ask me why. I feel like, okay. I was going to say, I feel like I might know why, but I'm still going to ask why. Why, Morgan? Why will you feel better by the end of the show? Today is our last opportunity ambush because tomorrow. The fun drive is over. So today yeah. is you and I's, yeah. I, sh- I should say, last opportunity on air to go hard in the paint. We need to win. Yeah. Yeah. Y'all, we're a little bit behind. And I know everyone is stretched thin. It's real ugly out there. It is. The wages, they don't increase. The rent, the mortgage, it does. <laughs> right. Right. <laughs> Joe Byron and his inflation. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Has put us in a pickle. And by us, I mean all of us. However, there are things on the line. Yeah. The urgency is real. And this time, it's not just the thing on the line is like me winning socks and a sweatshirt and a mug. Are you sure? I feel like it's fairly important. I said it's not only. Oh, okay. It is urgent to this station, Ambush. I I agree. And I want to keep coming here and doing this every Thursday. And I want to win. Yeah. Two things in a row. (laughs) Most importantly, I need the win. I need the win. Come on. Uh, So I, I started a little early. Good morning, fiancés. I didn't even say hi properly. Apologies. Big apologies. Now, I am directly asking every single person who's listening right now to hit the news with my fiance, peer to peer page, Boom. run our numbers up. Run them up. Run, I so know it's, that. This is the moment you've been waiting for. Correct. Yeah. yeah. So that when I walk out of here this morning, I have a message from Nina that says, You did it, girl. You know? <laughs> you did it. We're funded. That's it. Baby, you brought it up. Shut on. it down. <laughs> Shut it down. Anything from here on is extra. <laughs> you know? That's what I'm looking for. <laughs> and I know, then, you know, we can do it. Yeah, no, I do. I do believe we can do it. Yeah. All right, so I'll be uh, coming back to the competition many times today. <laughs> as a reminder. <sighs> News with my fiance needs to win. <laughs> okay? Okay. Do we feel, are we, are we together on this one? <laughs> feel free to text us, let us know. <laughs> Shout out to everybody who has already um, donated to X-Ray altogether, but yeah, yeah, yeah. definitely uh shout out to our fiancés who have made our peer-to-peer page. What it is today. Look pretty good. Yeah, yeah. We're about 64% to our goal, Ambush. Yeah, we are. And, uh, I got faith. You what? I got faith. I do too. Yeah. Yeah. Today's the day. Now, again, our page goal says 300. And if you were listening last week, you know that it's in fact 3 million. Yeah. Doy. Come on. So aim high, guys. Last week, I think I asked Phil Knight to, you know, take a moment and do what's right. He's somewhere busy doing And he's nice. probably with Betsy Johnson somewhere. <clears throat> Either way, they're busy. <laughs> Johnson, DeVos, you know, bazookas, machine guns. It's all the same. It's all the same. (sighs) So we'll, we'll think of a couple other billionaires we could bother, but in the meantime, hit the page. Yeah. You can go directly to it from, uh, both of our personal Instagrams. That's Portland Morgan or scam BZ. Correct. Or run up our numbers at the, uh, news with my fiance Instagram page. We are, Steadfastly working on the content, mm-hmm. how it will 
be populated. <laughs> mm-hmm. Creating the schedule. But the links are in the bios. Link in bio. All three of those pages. You can do yeah. it. Yeah. And if you're asking yourself, like, I can get around to it. You know, I got time. What's the incentive for today? Oh, today's incentive. We got that uh, Ultimate Vinyl Collector's Shopping Spree. Woo! What? Valued at four hundred dollars. Four hundred plus. Four hundred plus. Excuse me. <laughs> Could you tell me hmm. where that shopping spree goes? I absolutely will. Uh, Mississippi Records, Fluff and Gravy, Crossroads, Too Many Records, Music Millennium. Are any of those record stores like your favorite record store? Are any of those record stores record stores you haven't been to before? Bam! Time to pull out your record store passport. And the four hundred dollars that you're gonna win, four hundred dollars plus plus in okay. value for this shopping spree. Yeah, if you're listening, you're eligible. How about them apples? You hear that, DJs? If you're listening, you're eligible. But it, today's the last day. Today's the last day to get that to, to get en- that. to be entered yeah. to win that. Yeah, and it's been going since Tuesday, friends. So you know, get in there. Boom. That's a big one. Like, w- you would lose your mind. Yeah. Uh, if I were able to give my dad a tour of all of the record stores and, you know. Heck yeah. And just pay for gas? Bruh. <laughs> yeah. Nick Super Jones, sure. I'd be taking you around the world, baby. Bruh. Go get all the vinyl you want. We're also trying to bring in 12 new members today. Yes. I feel like this is, I feel like this can be done. It's totally possible. Yeah. Absolutely possible. Yeah. I mean, the X Ray fam does a lot of legwork on their own, right? I see bumper stickers everywhere. I see people wearing X Ray merch. Yeah. This is a beloved, stickers. Yeah. This is a beloved media institution. Mm-hmm. You know? So all we're saying is, hey, man, keep it that way. Exactly. Sorry. Let's 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 dial back on some of the conversation around your Halloween costume. You've been talking <laughs> about it since last month. Trust me, your friends are tired of hearing about it. Everyone got the invites. Mm. Anyone that hasn't RSVP'd yet, you know how they are. They'll just show up without show RSVPing, up. and they might not have a so, costume on. Don't exa- judge. Uh, yeah, it's you know, meet them where they are, <laughs> even though where they are will be at your house. Here's the thing. <laughs> <laughs> Let's move on. Time to change topics. I think your friends will be happy to hear you talk about something else. And the something else you should be talking about, the fun drive. Become a member of X Ray. That's it. Halloween party chatter. Boom. What have you done for your community radio lately? Yeah. You know? What have you? Right now, what have you? you have a chance mm. to do more for it if you haven't done anything. Step up. Mm? Mm? And if you have done something, thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Can you do more? You know, we're, we're just wondering if, you know, Cause, there's a little. Because sometimes you feel like you've done everything you can. But sometimes. There's a little more a little in there. A little bit more in there. A little more gas in the tank, if to you will. To the oils. Okay. You know? Okay. Huh? There's a little bit. A little bit left. <laughs> a little bit left. I said, take a look-see. I love that you were just telling me there's that dollar a day campaign. Uh, a, option? Yes, there is an option. A dollar a day to x-ray. 365 bucks. Come on, man. Dollar a day. Come on, man. Come true. That dollar a day. That's couch cushion money. You know? You're spending that in parking. Spend Easily. Way more than that. In yeah, you know? Yeah. Man, I parked yesterday and was uh, not. Please. Not please. <laughs> uh, <laughs> whoa. Yeah. Yeah, parking ting. Northwest is like, would you like me to take all of your money? Mm, I thank will. you. I'll help For myself. parking on this street that you had to <laughs> circle 28 minutes to uh, park? I will help myself to your pockets. Thank yeah. you. Thank you. So, good morning, fiancés. I hope the day is going well for you. Mm-hmm. I do just want to say there was um, breaking news of two mass shootings yeah. in Maine. Uh, don't know exactly at this moment because, you know, 15 minutes ago, it was 16 
people dead, unfortunately, potentially over 20. Mm -hmm. And an abundance of people that are injured and they are asking residents and uh, business owners and to shelter in place because he's on the loose. That's the scariest part for me. That's just like you're shutting down schools. Everybody stay in the house. We don't know where this person is. Um, they have military training. Yeah, that and they are a trainer, right? Or yeah, they're, uh, yeah, they're an instructor. Instructor, yeah. A firearms instructor. Yeah. So not great. Not at all. Um, don't know the the motives yet. Correct. No, they don't know. Okay. Uh, because still on the run. Yeah, they did mention there was some mental health. Uh, previously Pre- established yes. mental health issues. Yes. Yeah, and that Maine doesn't have any red flag laws, so this is where we are. Thoughts and prayers. The the biggest and the brightest. Oh thoughts yeah. Thoughts and prayers. Thoughts and prayers. Expect it from the top on down. <laughs> also, it's wild. The breaking news I got last night. The entire House Speaker shenanigans that have Shabacle. been going on. The shabacle. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> has been. A, a, literally a mess like a soap opera th- thank you yeah thank you that's what it is a daytime soap one life to live <laughs> not one you know Wowzer. one gavel yeah one speaker to go <laughs> um if you'll all remember that jim jordan was like i'm gonna be the house speaker because i want to <laughs> and then the people that he is directly, his direct colleagues and coworkers were like, no, you Man. are not. <laughs> Fall Sir, back. Fall back, bro. sit down. Have several seats is what yeah. he was told. And he was like, I'm just going to keep going. I'm, I'm just going to see, guys. Hey, let's try it again. Let's try it again. On the third time. Was it the third time or the fourth time? Either way, he stopped. Third. Third. Okay. He was like, I'm not going to be mccarthy out here. You know, you're not going to get me doing 15 votes. Mm. McCarthy was... did win, but then Frat Gates uh. jumped into the mix. And he started this uh, chaotic situation. Yeah he, yeah, he did. Which one thing that is just absolutely hilarious to me, Ambush, is that there are what, you know, media outlets or would say the reasonable Republicans who are all up in arms about this entire situation. How dare you Mm -hmm. remove? They're more upset at Democrats for voting. Right. With their own party and their own parties for their own interests. Right. Because they're the ones who are ruining the institution of, you know, the speaker house job position Bruh, this is family feud you're com- <laughs> you're complaining that the other team isn't scoring low enough for your family to win while Yo. whole time your disgruntled son at the end of the panel is saying i know all the answers and he's not and then he's, he's like purple sure. right when like, it's his turn come on bro he just keeps saying purple right like come on your own squad couldn't pull together the votes how dare you blame that on the opposition? It's wild. They're like, well, there's only there were only eight Republicans that had to do it. Two hundred and twelve. Yeah. Why would they? They don't want any of you to be Speaker of the House. Right. Why would they not seize that opportunity? Also, again, Kevin McCarthy, did you not? Did you not bring this upon your doorstep? Absolutely. Check the scoreboard, y'all. I feel like the concessions made in order to be able to say Speaker of the House Kevin McCarthy, even for a day. Right. You were like, hey, you guys could fire me tomorrow. Just one of you could bring a vote. Get me out of here. Just let me get in there real quick and put my feet on a desk. Oh. I just want to touch the gavel. Utter nonsense. And now we're here. Yeah. Time wasted. And they're out here blaming. Uh, Anyway. What happened yesterday, Ambush? They did, in fact, pick a new Speaker of the House. Mm-hmm. So after 22 days, it's 20, 
three now, 14 candidates, four different nominees, mm. four unshakable embarrassments. Mm. We now have a far right, viciously anti LGBTQ plus Christian nationalist as House Speaker. And you're wondering, who is that? Is it Frat Gates? Mm. No. Mike Johnson. And Mike Johnson has been this guy, the yeah. <laughs> anti everything non white Christian and male and heterosexual, I am certain. Oh, yeah. He's been that forever. Yeah. And Matt Gates said, everyone feels listened to with Mike, and I'm going to do everything I can to support him. I saw a video of Mike in session saying that abortion, <laughs> the abortion rate is a contributor to American labor issues. Yep. If those women would have not had abortions, do you know how many workers we would have right now? The blinking I did. Uh, a familiar gif, if you will. Uh, a white gentleman just blinking and looking around. And, you know, early, early gift days. Uh, I was like, what? I mean... There's no shame. There's there's zero shame. Um, it kind of it like the vibe. I'm gonna do a vibe check. Oh my god! It's similar to the Israeli government. Just like some of the things, oh. unabashed. You know, just saying saying the quiet parts out loud, and just uh, no care for the consequences because there are none. Consequence? What's that? Unsure. Replay. We got two texts already. And this is important. Okay. As of this morning, gun owners have killed 15,545 people in the U.S. since January 1st of 2023. Oh my God. Source is gunviolencearchive.org. If anybody's like, I, I don't know about that, go to right. that. Second, Republicans killed the pilot, then blamed Democrats for the plane crash. Exactly. There it is. <laughs> <laughs> there exactly. it is. Yeah. Good morning, fiance. Good morning, fiance. Yeah, no, that's definitely what happened. And that's all that happens. This is one of the things <laughs> <laughs> that gets my goat. Snatches your boots. It snatches my boots. Yeah. My boots are snatched. <laughs> like, what in the world? How do we do this over and over and over? And then every, I mean, like every generation is just like, I mean, was it that different? Did they do different things? Right. Like when I look back, is Joe Byron the same as he was a few decades ago? Kind of, sort of. Yeah. On some kinda. issues, not looking good. Yeah, for sure. Looking a lot like you lost a lot of uh, this last, I mean, just this last two weeks alone. Mm -hmm. If man's made some headway with the youngers and the people of color. <laughs> previously. Previously. We're sliding. Yeah. These last couple of weeks were undoing of that. There's a lot of undoing. And, you know, even when Joe Byron gets it right and Dump Truck gets it way wrong. Yeah. The grace is given, that is given, to Donald Trump is out of this world. Yeah. I sure. watched a, uh, a clip today of a reporter going out and talking to striking auto workers in Detroit. Joe Byron was talking to another group of striking workers that same day. Mm -hmm. And Donald Trump had a rally about an hour and a half away yep. at a non-union auto yep. part place yep and the reporter is out there talking to the uaw workers like how does this impact we want to see real time how this impacts people's idea of who to vote for the amount of people that were like yeah i'm on the fence when he says you know trump is at a non-union place they're like huh yeah that's probably one of the reasons i'm on the fence 
It didn't push you off? Right. Didn't push you over? Mans was at a non-union facility with actors and actresses. Chilling. It, like, do do the folks that say we need, uh, you know, Daddy Trump to come back, those folks who are union laborers, do they think that Donald Trump, the CEO, ever was equitable with anybody who ever worked with, for, around him? Show me. Do the they evidence. think that that he would be taking some sort of pay cut? <laughs> In order to make sure that y'all were able to eat? No. Like, not even a little bit. Mm-hmm. And so, I, what I am hoping is in this moment of hot labor year, hopefully. I hope we're going right into hot labor winter. Right. What I'm hoping is that we really get down to the, uh, the brass tacks, as they say. We can be upset about every single system of oppression, and we are. What is the common denominator all the way down? Class. Yep. yep. A continued class war. That is what our lives are. Yep. Just, why not? Stay in your place, Porzy. You know, let me dangle a carrot. You work hard. I don't have to, but you work real hard. And remain patriotic while doing it. You better. Because you know the more money you make, the less tax you'll have to pay. Because that's what, that's what we want for the people that make money. Yeah. Yeah. But then we're going to make sure that you're unable <laughs> to join this club. But we're going to make it look like you can. We're going to tell you if you don't, it's your fault. And all the while, we're just going to continue to make being poor the most expensive thing to do. Oh, good. So for the folks who Ooh. are fed up. And are like, I'm not going to continue to do this really hard, grueling, dangerous work while there are CEOs making millions and millions and millions and millions of dollars and I can't feed my kids. For those people who said I'm not doing this anymore and and are striking, think it through. Is there room in your life for a politician who thinks you don't deserve to eat (laughs) right who says you don't work hard enough who says if you want to live in a nice house seven jobs seems fine yeah you gotta do what you gotta do bootstrap it there are 24 hours in this day how many are you using to make coins oh my god huh do what, what do you need to sleep for cousin of death Huh? You want to be dead? No, you don't. We got the same. We have the same 24 hours as this next person. OMG. No, we don't. We definitely don't. No, we don't. My 8 a.m. and that person's 8 a.m. look totally different. Completely. Your sleep looks different. Bruh. What is sleep? The amount of awake and working (laughs) we all are versus that person who is able to like saunter into the office at some point because i was busy they're in upper management and you know has a car pick them up that'd be so nice car service that'd be great all right so we don't want car service but after the drive is done we're going to be doing a call for some volunteers join the uh join the uh what do we call this program? News with my fiance? I oh, wanted to give it something bigger than that. Like, I don't know, like the sword that cuts through. The... Oh, boy. I had. I, I have no idea where we're going here. It's all right. So it's all right. It. I'll work on it because I'll, I'll come back from the break with something strong. Okay, I like I'll it. Back with something strong. I believe in you. Yeah. Yeah. Sure, it's news with my fiance, but what is it really? And then I'll have mm, that. You know, mm-hmm. You shall not pass Gandalf with the staff. Like, you know, I'm gonna have something. I'm like, don't worry, don't you worry about it. Have some noise. All right. Whatever. You just put two things in my head that I'm that we'll just move forward with. But okay. Before the break, how yeah. about we uh, let folks know? All right. What we will chat about. So in uh, local news, not all heroes wear capes, and these heroes are fighting for my right not to pump my own gas. Shout out to local five by five. 
ba, 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 ba. <sighs> and uh what we're witnessing here is the beginning of a human versus robot apocalypse uh some dinner delivery robots got blamed for some egregiousness on the college campus i cannot wait to mm. tell you about that uh, and if we have time i'm sure you guys may have heard about this an off-duty pilot attempted to shut off the plane's engines while in flight and then tried to see himself out before landing uh Oh. <laughs> yeah, that that detail was missing from the initial reporting. Uh, like, you know what? My bad, guys. I'm gonna go. Actually, I'm gonna head out. Yeah. Yikes. Yeah. Uh, that national news, MJ. Well, you know, uh, Joe By- Byron back at it, letting us know that he believes that Palestine is inflating their death toll because why wouldn't they? You know. Oy, 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 oy. Why wouldn't they? Why, making things up is exactly what they are uh, doing. Not like we didn't see, you know, uh, recently hostages be released and the different coverage of that. Right. Looking a lot like night and day. <sighs> we just got a text. Someone asked, tell me where to sign up. And we will. We will. Oh, what's happening? You can head straight to xray.fm. Hit the donate button. Bam. I do believe on the homepage there are some flashing lights, sirens, all the indicators to let you know. We are in the fun drive where we are with that. And, you know, the different options you have to contribute. Become a member. Right now. It's pretty cool, man. Do it on our page, though. Oh, right, right, right. I mean, you know, here's the thing. It is in... It- <laughs> It is important that the station receives the donation. Right. It is more important that they, this is hard for me to say, it is more important for the do, the donation to reach the station than it is to go through our page. It <laughs> is. Don't worry. Don't worry. But they, you can also <laughs> donate and in the notes of your donation say why you're donating. So, and Nina gets it to our page, you know? Nina it's true. Counts it. It's yeah. true. It gets counted. You could just, you know, NWMF <laughs> if you want. We're here for the. I need to win. He's a winner, guys. Jump play them games. It's time. All right. All right, ambush. What I would love. Uh huh. Music break. All right. I think I can do that. Welcome back to News, my fiance, with Morgan Jones and DJ Ambush. Guess where you are? In the fun drive. Your fun Directly drive. in it. Your first seat. Or front what? seat. Did you even know? First seat? I mean, maybe. No, I like it. Yeah. Thanks. You're in your first seat. <laughs> or the fun drive. And it's time, baby. Yeah. Let's drive some fun. Yeah. 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 Shout we, out. We go got, oh, no, no, no. 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 I was going to say shout out to uh, the person that tapped our shoulder a little bit before uh, we went into music break. It was like, hey, man, show me. Where to sign up? You guys are talking all this sign up, sign up stuff. You know? Where do I go? And where do they go? xray.fm slash donate. There's a donate button on the homepage. There's a donate button everywhere you go. Boom. On that site right now. Yeah, going right. And not just today, but every day. You know? But the urgency is now. And you're asking, why, Morgan, is it so urgent? I want to win, number one. No, wait. No, no, no. That's not what I meant. Number one, we want to, the station's got to be here, guys. We got to keep it going. This is how we are people powered, as they say. Man, we got a really good tech. But second, I want to win really bad. I like to to win really bad, bad, big. Like to win. Want to win. All right, Ambush, hit us us with the text. It's accompanied by five of the hand heart emojis. Okay. All right. Okay, just wanted to say that I became a member last year mm. uh, because it shows like news with my fiance. Thank you for all that you do. I wish I could pay all of your bills, <laughs> even your parking. <laughs> the issues you two talk about are very important. Please don't stop. We'll get there someday. Thank you, fiance. I do believe we'll get there someday. I do. 
I'm I'm doing the uh, hand and heart. Yeah, yep. right back Good to you. Right I'm back. a little speechless. That was a great text. Yeah, yeah. I'm choking up. Thank you for even wanting to pay my parking. <laughs> <laughs> you know, <laughs> that's a big that's, deal. That's really dope. Yeah, have you seen those like links in people's bios where it's like buy me coffee? No. There's like a, I don't want to say app. I Maybe mean, there's a website. Okay. Where it's like buymecoffee.com slash and then whatever your, you know, whatever your. So is it just is money or does the, what is it's it? It's literally like buy me a cup, buy me two cups, buy me coffee for the week. Like those are the, the levels. And you can just have that in your, uh, in your Instagram bio. People will just buy you coffee. All right, we're going to we're going to think about that. Pay my parking. <laughs> Pay my parking for the week. My parking. Uh, we got a happy Halloween weekend. <laughs> my fellow X-ray Oregonians. I know who that is. Hugs and kisses. Who is it? Rudo. Roots. I hope I didn't just blow everybody's ears out. I'm sorry. I got <laughs> get excited. I really do. Oh, what a what a day. Yeah. Before we get into the news, just a real quick reminder that today's giveaway, if you give today, wait, did we properly thank this fiance who said they became a member last year? No. What we, thank we, you. Thank yes, you. Thank you. Humongous. Seriously. Big. We, you know, don't want to skip past those moments of trying to appreciate because we really, really do. Um, and we, we just want to keep this going. Real talk. You know? Appreciate you. Before we get going, the giveaway today, and this is this is only today. You cannot win this tomorrow. No. Get in now. Get to the chopper. <laughs> <laughs> Do it. A vinyl shopping spree. <clears throat> excuse me. At multiple, multiple local record stores. I mean, this is a dream right here. For sure. Worth over four hundred dollars. I think there were five different record shops. Yeah, yeah, five different record shops: Mississippi Records, Fluff and Gravy, Crossroads, Too Many Records, and Music Millennium. I mean, come on! Way to run it up. Yeah, this is the moment. What if you've never been? This is the real time. Yeah. Huh? I miss sure. Music Millennium. I haven't been there in a long time. I'm gonna have to go in. That used to be my stomping ground. Oh yeah, you had to get new music every Tuesday. You know, hey man, it was time. Just run in there, see what's going on. So anyway, I'm gonna jump into a little uh, news, if you will. Uh, yeah, yeah. What news. do you want to do first here? I, 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 you know, I want to salute the heroes. Fair enough. UFCW Local 555 is leading the fight to ban pumping your own gas. This is something that you are incredibly passionate about. Yeah. Not all heroes wear capes, bro. It's true. You know? In a surprising turn of events, one of Oregon's largest labor unions is launching a campaign to ban self-service at gas stations just months after lawmakers voted to legalize it. UFCW Local 555, a union representing workers across various sectors, including grocery, retail, manufacturing, and healthcare, is spearheading this effort. The policy allowing self-service at gas stations, which became effective in August, is now facing strong opposition from the union, citing adverse consequences. The UFCW Local 555's political director, Mike Savaggio, voiced their concerns, saying, It doesn't do anything good for Oregonians unless you're a gas station owner or have a stake in a large oil company. The union claims that self-service has led to job losses for gas station workers and has created accessibility challenges, particularly for those with mobility issues. If this union-led ballot measure were to succeed, it would lead to a complete ban on self-serve gas in Oregon, encompassing rural counties. Notably, some exceptions remain, um, allowing certain non-commercial customers like firefighters to continue pumping their own gas. Uh, Oregon made headlines in June when lawmakers voted to reverse a decades-old ban on self-serve gasoline, differentiating the state for almost, from almost all other U.S. states, with New Jersey being the exception. 
Uh, despite bipartisan support in the legislature, the move remains polarizing, with Governor Tina Kotek noting that she received nearly 5,000 letters from Oregonians expressing their views, with a narrow majority supporting the new policy. Uh, the state's approach to self-service has evolved over the years, and the law being relaxed in 2015 to allow for self-service at night in rural counties. Under the latest policy, gas stations in Oregon are still required to have at least half of their pump staff to serve customers who prefer or require assistance with fueling their vehicles. It's worth noting that fuel companies had assured that they wouldn't lay off employees due to the new self-service law, mm -hmm. as ongoing worker shortages had already left many stations understaffed. However, the union, UF, CW Local 555 disputes this, claiming that they've witnessed the elimination of gas, of gas station positions, although some affected employees have been transferred to work inside convenience stores. The union's efforts won't stop there. They are simultaneously pushing for several other measures to be included on the 2024 ballot. These measures include initiatives to prevent lawmakers from conducting secret meetings mm. and to limit campaign contributions. Talk to them. Earlier this year, the union collected enough signatures to initiate a recall election against Representative Paul Holby, a Democrat from Eugene. This recall election marked the first against an Oregon lawmaker in nearly four decades. The union had clashed with Holby after he tabled a bill regarding the unionization of cannabis workers. Mm. However, Eugene voters largely rejected the effort to remove Holby um, earlier this month. To get the proposed self-service ban on the ballot for November 2024, the union must collect a substantial 112,000 signatures, setting the stage for what could be a heated debate over self-serve gas in Oregon. I mean, here's the thing. Rural Oregon already, you can do this, and this is who it impacts the most. Yeah. It does not need to be, it did not need to be changed. Okay, let me say, it, in my opinion, it did not need to be changed. In your wisdom, say that. Ah, thank you. Yeah, there you go. But the, but the fact that, like, I, I, I don't know. I'm sorry, ambush all the stammering. <laughs> but this is, this is my thought. The people that lobbied for this to happen were not like, you know how dangerous it is for someone to work with gas and be around fumes and you know it wasn't for the protection of anyone right it's it's in service <laughs> in service of uh capitalism less people you have to pay less people you have to worry about less people that are, are insured because there are a handful of people that are really impatient that are just like, hey, man, I got to get to where I'm going. And no, I didn't properly prepare. Right. And you know whose fault that is? Not mine. So, yeah, get out of my way. Let me get my gas. And to that I say, you do you, boo. But the last thing <laughs> that any of us need is to be jumping out 40 degrees, sideways rain. Bruh. Because you are uh, want to save three and a half minutes, and it might not even be that long. No, for serious, seriously. Uh, Shout out to the union that is uh, taking this on. Uh, for sure, we just got another donation. Talk to me. Talk to me, nice. Okay, Ambush can't to, see. He yeah, has. If you can see the furrowed say? brow. All right. Should I be doing this or? Love you, Whitester and Hubster. Ah, what are you? <laughs> what are you trying to read? I was trying to skip the name. I couldn't. Thank you, Lee. Lee M. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Oh man, Wifester and Hubster, I love it. Yeah, I gotta get these glasses clean. I mean, seriously, if you guys could have seen what was happening, I'm sorry for the pause there I, and my tone. You're like, I was just so happening? confused. What is happening? You are what like are on top of doing? the screen. What are you doing, sir? But squinting. Just didn't make any sense. Sure. You know? There you go. There yes. There you go. That's better. Uh, that is our first donation of today. So, uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. hey, 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 thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We are at 205 out of our $300. Y'all. 
You know what I mean? We're, We're almost 60, there. We're at sixty-eight percent. This is what I'm talking about. Coming true. Yeah. There Lee. it is. I mean, hey, Lee, now we're in competition, and I'm okay with that. Because best believe I'm trying to get the $400 vinyl shopping spree. It's what I want. It's what I want. You know? Can I really quickly just say, uh, it is somebody's birthday today. It's always someone's birthday. But today mm-hmm. is our good friend in real life, Amber. From Spirit of Justice. Hey! <laughs> Happy birthday, sis. Happy birthday. Magical woman. Mm-hmm. Organizer of all organizers. Facts. Out here abolishing. You know, getting people to understand causes. Abolishment team. That's it. Happy birthday, babe. We love you. Love you. Hope Happy today birthday. is amazing. Man. Birth anniversary. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, the next story is really short. Like, we can get this out the way. You know? Does this have anything to do with the, uh, robots? It does. All right. And it needs our attention, guys. I'm jumping in. All right. A pesky human put the droids in harm's way at Oregon State. Terrible. A Star Wars story. <laughs> Will you put the sound bed <laughs> underneath? Uh, in an unusual incident at Oregon State University, authorities have issued a bomb threat warning associated with the university's food delivery robot. Didn't those delivery robots happen during COVID? I think like during quarantine. Yeah. And yeah. It was like, whoa, that's cool. And also terrifying. Super cool. Uh, the situation unfolded on Tuesday when the university's administration raised alarm over these autonomous robots that are typically used to deliver food to people on campus. An initial social media post instructed individuals not to open any of the robots and urged them to, quote, avoid all robots until further notice. Come on, man. You're just grouping our robots together. (laughs) Not all robots. Not all robots, bro. (laughs) Fortunately, the emergency alert was lifted at 1.39 p.m., slightly over an hour after the initial warning. The university's campus Public safety personnel, along with the technicians, swiftly took action to isolate the robots in a secure location. They are now actively investigating this situation. Mm. It's worth noting that neither the university nor the Corvallis Police Department provided immediate responses to inquiries about the incident, leaving the details and motives behind the bomb threat somewhat unclear. Back in October 2021, Oregon State University introduced a fleet of 20 I can't say the word. Autonomous. Autonomous. I can't. It's the hard, <laughs> delivery robots <laughs> designed by the San Francisco based company Starship Technologies. Boy, if that doesn't sound like a villain from a Marvel. Wow. Uh, it does. It does. Starship. Yeah. Te- okay. Yeah. Uh, these robots, equipped with six wheels and distinctive orange flags, employ GPS, sensors, and artificial intelligence to navigate the campus safely, avoiding any obstacles in their path. While the incident is resolved, it highlights the unique challenges associated with the integration ambush of advanced technology on university campuses. The investigation into this unusual bomb threat is ongoing. How dare you? How dare you? This is how it starts. You're grouping the the actions of all robots together. (laughs) Huh? Obviously, this is some human error, some human meddling, and who gets the blame? They get all corralled together. All you robots, get in here. Mm. I don't like it. This is how it starts, guys. This is how it starts. I know everyone's like... Not robots getting treated like black people. (laughs) (laughs) Chill out, Ambush. (laughs) I know you guys are all worried about Skynet. And, hey, man, (laughs) that's already happened, bro. That's already happened. And, you know, we're starting on the aggression here. Oh, my word. And you guys know, you've seen The Matrix. We can't win this. (laughs) All right? (laughs) The second they decide that, you know, hey, you know what? We're going to make it so humans can't use their cell phones. It's a wrap, bro. That alone. Then we can't use our cell phones. Communication. 
crippled. They could do it in a heartbeat. The AI is out there. Ultron's real. What? Okay. Ambush. Huh? What? Reel it in. All right. Ultron is real? <laughs> oh, my gosh. Nina, I, I'm apologizing for Ambush today. He's going to cost us some money. I don't know. A suit of armor around the world. Oh, my God. <laughs> All right. Okay. If, I'm out. Maybe I, uh, <laughs> maybe I got a little. Maybe he got too real. A little maybe carried away real. is what they say uh, normally, but well, I guess you're going to say too real. <laughs> too yeah, real for the radio. Too ambush. real for you guys. You weren't ready. So it happens. It does. Yeah. It is a hard knock life. <laughs> <laughs> or something. I don't know. Uh oh. while Ambush gets us ready for our next music break, mm-hmm. I am just gonna say head over to xray.fm slash donate. There's so many options. So many. Become a sustaining giver. Do you know what that means? That means you're gonna give us money once a month. Every month. Mm-hmm. And why do we want that? We want to know. We want to have the ability to budget correctly. You want to know what money you're going to have. And with sustaining givers, we know you can count on a certain amount of dollars coming your way. For sure. And all of these donations take care of all of the operations around here. And that means. We got to pay for those signals. Yeah, man. Is that what they're called? Tower. Yeah, tower rent. Got to pay that stuff, man. We got to pay ASCAP, BMI. There's all sorts you know? of licensing you got to do. Yeah, man. Got to make sure those artists are not starving. Yeah. I mean, well. We, I mean, we, we, I don't know we, we do our part. Yeah. 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 But, yeah. Uh, Talk to Spotify. G- general operating, right? Every there are people, there are paid staff that got to keep being paid staff in order for us to show up here. Yeah, man. In order for us to have a studio to come to, and I do like coming to this studio. Yeah, it's super dope. Super dope. And there's, you know, uh, so many things that uh, you just don't even think about, like making sure you have. Good mic arms. That making, changes the game. Making sure the equipment is properly maintained. Making changes sure, the game. Yeah, making sure there's a budget for when things go down that you, need, that you can replace them. This is a station that is live a lot. You know what I'm saying? There's, yeah. And there's a huge family of volunteers that come here and provide, you know, this amazing content. Yep. I mean, at this point, I feel like it's safe to say X ray is like, a legacy station here. I like it. In Portland. I think it's safe to say. Yeah. We're going to need people to uh, donate. Yeah. In order to continue yeah. the legacy. Yeah. 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 This is my fave. You know, community radio really uh, changes the game for so many people. Yeah. And I, I don't like how, uh, you know, Words get co-opted and uh, sentiment. The the sentiment isn't the same. So when you hear me say mainstream media, know that I'm not like fake news. <laughs> Deep state. But we what we definitely know is there are uh, different agendas. Yeah. And when there's too much money <clears throat> by a uh, you know controlled interest, mm-hmm. narratives change, and it's less about the true part of the news and more about what is going to get these clicks these views yeah and we all know that uh the uh if it bleeds it leads has been the case for i don't know one right. million years so yeah uh we want to be able to give context to the stories that are happening here abroad mm-hmm We'd love to talk about Joe Byron. <laughs> you know, we're not supposed to be talking bad on Joe Byron. You know that? Because what? Because we're black and we vote Democrat. Oh, because he said if you ain't if you if you don't yeah. vote for me, he ain't black, Jack. That's right. You're right. Because <laughs> <laughs> I'll leave it there. Sorry, guys. 
revoked. We got. We can't talk anymore about Joe Byron. Psych. That uh, chance, bro. Absolutely talking about him. That's the next story. Ambush. Take us to a break. <laughs> give them the opportunity to go to the website and yes. give us some money, and allow news with my fiance to be the winner of all fun drives. Bam. Of all fall twenty twenty three fun drives. <laughs> Yeah, you are back, or we're back. You're back with us. First seat. News is my fiance. <laughs> <laughs> Morgan Jones, DJ Ambush, X Ray Fun Drive. Join the conversation. You're in the mix. You're in the mix. <laughs> Morgan Jones, DJ Ambush. Wow. Yeah, I got all them sound effects built in, bro. Wow. It's a DJ thing. We oh my come. god, my mind is blown. Yeah, sometimes you tap into it, sometimes you don't. You know how many years we've. I have never seen you do that. It's true. It's the fun drive, bro. 971-220-5979. Again, 971-220-5979. <laughs> Your face is hilarious right now. Rudo I am said, the weekend. Rudo said, ambush. You cray. You crazy. There we go. I'm sorry. Hard times? Yes, Rudes. Well, come on, Rudes. Is there She's ever a not a time to play Paramore? <laughs> right. Right. Like, ah, There's never a time. Not that I can think of. Yeah. Ambush, can I have a moment? You can have a moment. Should I dim the lights? Please. All right. Thank you. Okay. We got a uh, donation. And the note. Are you ready for the note, Ambush? I'm not, but I want it. I don't know what I'd do if I couldn't get my local news delivered with deep thought, integrity, and the best jam breaks possible in the morning. Come on, man. The world needs you, and not just because Morgan likes my text. <laughs> Michelle! <laughs> XOXO. Hey, Michelle. Cannot thank you enough. Thank you. I mean, seriously. Where I now? love your texts, by the way. Yeah. Michelle. Wow. Thank you for continuously supporting every single one of you who have given more than once. Uh, you know, we we do this twice a year. Right. It's a lot. I know it's annoying to hear me say I want to win, but I do. <laughs> I do really bad. I, I really like to win. <laughs> Big lead. Okay. Slow down. All right. All right. <laughs> uh, and your support means the absolute world. And um. I know that we are supposed to be most excited about the money. I am most excited about the notes that come with these donations. No, real talk. Um, They're unstoppable, untoppable. Yeah, it, you guys just really, you make it all um, even better. Yeah. That's uh, it. We just got a text that says, uh, you're going to need to clip the audio of Ambush doing that tag and reuse it repeatedly. Done. <laughs> Kyle, did you hear that? <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> You're in the mix. <laughs> Morgan Jones, DJ Ambush. Send it to me, please, Kyle. You don't need to give it to Ambush because I think that he might, you know, accidentally lose it or something. <laughs> but I do need to have access to pressing the button. I'm play that all the time. Just, just, just have it at the ready. Huh? Yeah. I'll put it on my soundboard for not here. <laughs> just in life. And just use it. In random, you know, moments. I'm glad you guys love it. I loved it. <laughs> it was great. It was so unexpected. <laughs> Did not see it coming. You're fun driving. Okay. So I saved this story. So we had enough time to, you know, bounce it around. And I'm going to tell you, I'm going to tell you. Uh, This one hit hard. This one hit really, really hard. And... Um, as I was writing it last night, just the research that went into, you know, the different places I want to find more information on it. And uh, there's some audio I'm going to be playing you guys at the end of the story so you can hear it for yourself. But it was triggering um, in a lot of different ways. And um, basically, so what happened here is, uh, you know, a continuation of the propaganda war that the U.S. Um, government of Israel and the U.K. Um, are perpetrating against the Palestinian people. And I feel like what Biden did yesterday 
was it's a notch or two below vetoing the ceasefire but <laughs> the uh, who does that sorry yeah it's just i i, I couldn't i couldn't imagine i could not imagine being a palestinian american right now and right. hearing how the president's conducted themselves like I, yeah so president biden voiced skepticism over the reported death toll in the Gaza Strip following Israeli attacks, specifically the figure provided by the Palestinian Health Ministry, which states that over 6,500 individuals, including around 2,700 children, have lost their lives. During a press conference at the White House, President Biden expressed a lack of confidence in these numbers. He emphasized that while he acknowledges there have been casualties, he doubts the accuracy of the Palestinian death count, attributing it to the grim realities of warfare. President well, Biden. so did they die or not? <sighs> is it warfare or well, is it we know. don't we? I don't think it was that many. I don't think it was that many, but, but it's grim. I don't think it was that many, but this is war, so mm. all's fair. Uh, President Biden further urged Israel to exercise great caution in its military operations, ensuring that their actions are targeted against those responsible for the conflict. He highlighted the importance of protecting innocent civilians in response to the Palestinians contest the notion that their Gaza death count is inaccurate. Meanwhile, in the United States, the Council on American Islamic Relations expressed deep concern over President Biden's comments and called for an apology to emphasize that journalists have reported a high number of casualties and video evidence from Gaza portrays the tragic impact of the conflict on Palestinian civilians. During the press conference, President Biden also noted that Hamas has been employing tactics that involve positioning themselves among Palestinian civilians in the densely populated area of Gaza. This, he said, places an additional burden on Israel as it seeks to address the threat uh, posed by Hamas. The president closed by emphasizing that Israel must do everything within its power, despite the challenges, to safeguard innocent civilians during the conflict. I saw a meme that said, if there is a school shooter in a school, do you drop a bomb on the school? Mm. Mm. So I'm going to go ahead and play, uh, play this clip here. In 18 days since Hamas, Hamas killed 1,400 Israelis, the Hamas-controlled Gaza Health Ministry says Israeli forces have killed over 6,000 Palestinians, including 2,700 chil children. You've previously asked Netanyahu to minimize civilian casualties. Do these numbers say to you that he is ignoring that message? What they say to me is I have no notion that the Palestinians are telling the truth about how many people are killed. I'm sure innocents have been killed, and it's the price of waging a war. I think we should be incredibly careful. I think not we, the Israelis, should be incredibly careful to be sure that they're focusing on going after the folks that are the pro pro propagating this war against Israel. And, uh, and it's against their interest when that doesn't happen. But I have no confidence in the number that the Palestinians are using. Did you peep when he said, I think that we, and then corrected himself, mm -hmm. and said, I think that Israel mm -hmm. should be very careful? I have no confidence. I don't know why he corrected himself. It, it's, that's, that's it. Yeah. That is actually how Joe Byron feels. So... <clears throat> As if that isn't horrific within a vacuum, right? What hit me was, the way it hit me was, it's, it just felt like all the times when oppressed people are discussing their oppression and sharing their oppression, hoping that they can reach the humanity in the oppressed. Or at least garner some you know a groundswell of support from the rest of the community that's just out here that's watching this happen um we've seen this with so many different issues we deal with in the black community where it's like we've been telling you this has been going on mm -hmm. your own government has compiled statistics to show what's been going on and you continue to just move as if none of that data is real. 
like <clears throat> to be I don't want to say bombarded, but there's nowhere that you can turn right now on Al Gore's internet and not see what is happening in Palestine. Like without any lower thirds, without any news coverage, you're just seeing Palestinians sharing what is happening to them. And for him to say so callously, I don't believe the numbers. Bruh. I have no confidence in the numbers. So is this your way of answering the question, how many Palestinians must perish before Israel has defended itself? The qu like, it's like, how many? What's, what's, what's the count? Oh, well, I don't believe in the count that they've reported. Therefore, let's, let's not do a ceasefire. Let's just keep it on moving. Who says no to a ceasefire? That is That man won't even wild. say the word. That's wild. Is it two words? He won't say it. They should focus on who did the real problem. Okay. Okay. Where I'm at, Ambush, is the, the fact that, uh, you know, everything that comes out of Israel is just to be taken as fact. And yeah. that's that, even though we are watching them run a PR campaign, like, yeah. like the government is responding to models and influencers on social media because they're doing a press run of propaganda. They're jumping in influencers DMs saying, hey, I'll pay you. I will pay you. How much does it cost for you to stop talking about Palestinians needing support or rights? How much will it cost? Five? Five racks? Ten? Ten racks? Guess whose money that is. I'll go as high as 15. That's, that's support coming from the U.S. The amount of, um, uh, you know, hand-wringing and upset that happens everywhere locally. Like, I don't want my tax dollars going to that. If we aren't all sitting here going, I don't want my tax dollars going to the uh, imperialistic <laughs> oops, military industrial complex so that we can just do more war, so that we can do more killings, so that more brown people are dead. This is not that... Uh, this is not the complicated moment that we are being told it is. They've gotten away with that entire fallacy for 75 years. What I saw uh, ambush yesterday, someone was uh, saying, I, you know, it, Israel doesn't have any, uh, they don't have to. They don't have to give water. They don't have to make sure the electricity is there. That, that They don't right. have they to. They have an obligation. To do There's it. no obligation. They do it out of the kindness of the government's heart. Was that Sarah Silverman? Which, which... It was definitely something she shared. Okay. And I can't get over, right? Like, I can't get over the idea that someone, someone somewhere heard that and was like, you're right. They don't. And I get it. We can't know everything about everything. This is a situation you don't need to know everything. You need to know the origin story, though, in order for you to know what is really uh, happening and what might be being twisted a bit. We are watching the oppressor get to say they are oppressed. We are watching... The oppressor say, I'm the victim, actually. The people that have thrown rocks and hid their hands, the people that turned water off, the people that poured cement into wells. Right. The people that said, you don't need electricity. The people that have dropped so many bombs, there are unrecognizable places in Palestine now, in Gaza, in the West Bank, unrecognizable. Palestinians do not have a right to return to that rubble. 
if they leave, there is no just guarantee they right. get to go home. Right. We can almost guarantee they will not be allowed back. And if they do get to go home, is there a home? Right. Likely not. And if there is a home, you know what's happened to it? An Israeli settler lives there now. How dare we have anything to say other than condemn this <laughs> and give us our money back? Do you believe Ukraine's numbers or no? This is absolutely disgusting that any of the money that we, you know, I mean, seriously, just capitalism will kill us. We know that. But the money that we work really hard for that gets taxed goes to this. Like, we are absolutely complicit. And I don't mean every single one of us is it's our fault. I mean, we're not doing enough to stop it. Right. Right. The alternative is they don't get to use our money for this. Right. You're going to have to fund your own war. You're going to have to find a fi figure out a way for BlackRock to make money somewhere else. Oh, they already did that. They own all the homes. Mm. Mm. We have no business, absolutely no business being okay with genocide. None. And there are people right now arguing for the ability to genocide, to ethnically cleanse. Think it through. We got a couple texts. Um, it's so disturbing that over the last 20 plus years, the bar only gets lower and lower for the U.S. government. Sheesh. Don't believe your lying eyes behavior. They've proven that no one in power even cares about U.S. citizens' lives at home or abroad. So I should stop being surprised. Right. Um, also, um, and let's not forget to call out our own Oregon legislators who were all so progressive, they won't even speak out for the bare minimum of a ceasefire. Come on. Again. <laughs> No business. None. Hey, Crystal. Crystal's here. Crystal, good morning. Crystal, Crystal said, wouldn't be surprised if Netanyahu arranged the original festival effect. Talk to him. Now, I'm not trying to be a conspiracy theorist, but I absolutely uh, would not, Crystal, be surprised either. I mean, provocation is provocation. <laughs> you know? <clears throat> so if I'm I got, I got to strike back. So I'm say about that. John just popped up. Good morning, John. <laughs> Good morning, fiance. Sorry I'm late. You two are the best. Always love the hard-hitting news and conversation. I became a founding member for Tom, but I've increased the last two years because of you two. <gasps> Must confess that last week was the first episode I missed you since we started. I was in Missouri for my daughter's wedding. Oh my I love gosh, you both. congrats. Please don't stop doing what you do, John. And just to lighten the mood, here's some pics. <gasps> Okay, I can't. Oh, look oh at this. my goodness gracious. Oh, her dress is amazing. Ah! Oh, she is so precious. Oh, oh Wedding John. Picks. Your daughter is such a beautiful bride. This is, this is what we do this for. Wow. Please don't stop speaking the truth about God. We got you, John. Thank you so much for those pictures, John. Seriously. And again, the sweet, the, 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 the sweet words sit with me forever. Uh, so appreciate you big time. That little girl, I cannot. That, yeah. was, was she the flower girl? She had to be. <laughs> she had dress, to be. She better have been. All right. So we got some, we got some shout outs here. You know, let's see here. Shout out to Tanya from Hot Fudge uh, Sundays. Who called in and make a donation? Shut up. To uh, a little news of my fiance. <gasps> Tanya said, "Just keep doing what you're doing. I love you." Nice. Thank you. You're racking up fiancés. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so ba, much. Ba, 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 ba. Yes. Also, thank you to Lucy N, Jennifer S, twice, Lee M, Paul A, Mitchell F, Joffrey T, and Paul W. It definitely says Michelle F. Does it? Yeah. There's no T. Did I say okay? You said Mitchell. Mitchell, that's terrible. I, again, I gotta clean these glasses. Yeah, you do. Yeah, Oof, this is gonna be terrible in Serato. I gotta increase my. Oh, okay. All right, some overnight, uh, overnight, late night thank yous, huh? 
Ricardo E, Michael N, The Real Scott M, Craig B, <laughs> Karen S, Ryan B, Lena N, Michael B, James A, Nathan H G, Bradley C, Karina C, James A again, Roland K, Ron B, Elijah M A, Kathleen D, Jackie C three times. Wow. Andrew J and our own Chase. Chase, I know what you're doing. He's trying to win that for him. Trying to win. He's trying to win the vinyl. You're trying to win the vinyl, Chase. And I feel like you and I have already had a discussion about this off air. The vinyl is mine. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no, that's the... That is absolutely not how it works. Okay. <laughs> you are entered to win once you donate. Uh, you don't get to call it. Oh, it's, it's not, not... Just dibs. No. Real quick, John said, I don't like it. you know she was, and her name is Olive. Ah. Uh, <laughs> Just, I'm done. Look I, at Olive, look at that. Melting. Yes. I was adorable. Such a sweetness. Oh, my God. Okay, I, I don't want to get too far off. You, you, uh, thank you for getting in the, the yes. shout outs and the big thank yous. Yeah. And overnight, people were going ham going burger, ham as burger. they say. Hamburger. So appreciate every single person who is um, donating, who is supporting the station. We appreciate every listener. Even if you're not giving, we just want to be here. Right. We want to be able to keep doing it. And Morgan wants to win. Very badly. Very badly. Well, what do you want to win? Because we hit our goal. What? We are $8 over our peer to peer. This is what I'm talking about. Yeah. $3 million in the bank. Uh, oh, no. Uh, our goal. Close. Okay. Close. Yes. Wonderful. Yeah. All I know is if it says 100%, it's over 100%, that's all that matters to me, baby. <laughs> you know? Now, everybody, everybody else. We got a $3 million goal. Make sure you're giving to our page because I don't know. <laughs> we were in second place last week. I don't know, you know, our rankings. Nina will let me know. But what I definitely know is I want to win. I feel you. Well, listen, we got a hard road to track. We are currently in one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eighth place. Oh, no. Yeah. People have been going hard. Shout out to the other shows. Shout out to the other hard shows for sure. Hard in the paint. Well, you I guys are going to be annoyed with me today. <laughs> I am clearing my calendar. I'll be doing some uh, some content. Get the people going. Some cold calls. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, Jack. For what it's worth, Chase, as the person who went and asked all the record stores, can't win. But you can, Ambush. You can. Oh. Dang. Sorry, Chase. Dang. Sorry, Broski. Another text. So, have you stopped paying your taxes? <laughs> I guess we should vote for the Republican next time. It's Biden or fascism next election. Unfortunately, not an easy time for us. Not I, an easy time. You know, for us. a couple of things here. No, you shouldn't vote for the Republican next time. And no, I haven't stopped paying my taxes. Every election is it's so and so or fascism, right? It's so and so or detrimental problem. Right. Don't get me wrong. I am not saying vote for a Republican, but I'm saying that's fear mongering. That's not actually not helpful because right now they're doing some of the fascism. Right. We are supporting with our <laughs> entire budgets, we are supporting fascism. So it's not an either or in this moment. Period. It's just not at home. And that's what makes it different for people. We don't have to deal with the crumbling city, right? But understand that we are absolutely supporting that. So it's not a, I don't know, is it Trump or right now we are big, big, big trouble. Yeah. And I'm not saying that, uh, you know, I'm not saying anything other than we are in big trouble. And this two party system absolutely does not work. No. It doesn't work for people, and it's never going to. It is designed to do exactly what it's doing. And we'll continue to. But know that that messaging goes nowhere. That messaging is done. 
People are real sick and tired of being guilted into voting for someone who does actually continue to do harm. You, so switch it up. Yeah. If 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 that's the road you're gonna go, switch it up, babe. And and if and if you know, I can understand that perspective of people that are just don't know what to do. What's the solution? What what do we do? What's the strategy? We're, we're in the same place every single time. It's time to vote. Um, we've mentioned it a couple times before, and I, I think we need, I think everyone just needs to kind of get on the same page here. The two party system does not support us. It does not benefit us at all, but a third party vote has always been something that has not been taken seriously purposely. And purposely yeah. To make sure the two, you know, existing parties, two, uh, primary parties are retain their power. What we have to do. And it's really like it's clear cut at the local level. We have to create the norm of supporting third party candidates. We have to make that. We have to normalize that. There are so many more elections that are happening in between the uh, general, which is every four years there. I mean, I'm talking everything from city council, school board, like everywhere where there's an opportunity to endorse a third party candidate. A truly progressive third party candidate, someone that isn't just swinging around the progressive flag, but really has those ideals and has done the work. That's where we got to do it. It actually matters. It really, really does. Um, and until we start doing that, honestly, yeah, we're this is we're stuck here. We are stuck here. But under no circumstances should we be voting against our our interests. You know what I'm saying? We shouldn't be spitefully voting. We shouldn't be spitefully holding our votes. Um, there are, there's a clear difference between what you're going to get under a Donald Trump and what you're going to get under uh, a Joe Byron. It's a clear difference. So we can't pretend, we can't be intellectually dishonest and say, well, I just don't know what to do now. Yeah, you do. And it's okay that you're not happy about doing it. It's fine that you're upset that you have to do this. Come on, we let's let's not play that game. <laughs> let's just, yeah, it's too much at stake. Uh, thank you. I think that uh, not just normalizing the idea of um, third party, not just third party candidate. We need a change of the way that we do this. Uh, oh yeah, version of democracy. Mm -hmm. But if we are not uh, engaged year round, if we are not engaged uh, every step of the way, and the only time people start paying attention is when something catastrophic happens or it's time to vote and the messaging that they get is it's this or the devil, you know, it is not a motivating thing. Right. But more than anything, if we're not, if we can't keep pe people engaged in the things that matter to their lives that hit them directly, we are not going to get anywhere. So we talk about solutions for a lot of things. And locally, we are able to do more than we are nationally. But we have to pay attention to all of it. And we have to be able to speak to all of it. And we have to be able to speak to it in a way that is not, uh, not just hyperbolic, but that truly, you truly understand where where the issue is, and if you don't, you don't. Yeah, and that's fine. John said, uh, "Thank you for being so perfectly concise about voting." Uh, you're welcome, but that was ambush. I'm, I'm pretty sure that was all ambush talking right there. I learned from the best. Yeah, <laughs> I want the best for everybody. Yeah, literally. There's no reason that we can't all have amazing lives that do not involve crippling poverty. Yeah. And war. Right. This, this is something that we absolutely cannot abide. Like, you cannot. <laughs> the party that we vote for right now is cool with this. And that's the issue. The politicians, the politicians that are fine with this. It's not just I'm fine with it. This serves the absolute purpose of being a stronghold in the Middle East without having to uh, have bases everywhere. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
uh, a text says, you haven't offered a solution. There is no mechanism for a third party. I'm not in any way arguing that a third party is going to happen today. <laughs> That's, that is not even close to what I'm talking about. Yeah. We're one. talking about actually staying engaged. Uh, right. So that I'll finish this. It says, learn your civics. There is no way in hell. Ooh, can, I say that? Yeah. can a third party be effective in national federal elections? It's a built it's built into the to the winner take all system, no matter how many local third party candidates you vote for. School boards and many local races are nonpartisan, except for they're not. Except how they're are not. you going to get two parties <laughs> to give up their power? You need to read this. Uh, progressives so, need to take take over the Democratic Party. That is the only solution. The 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 conversation, just that point alone, of saying that those particular elections are nonpartisan means you're. This is this is what's the word I'm looking for? Like willful denial <laughs> of reality. What right. they're supposed to be and what they are are two different things, and Absolutely. we know that we are watching our libraries being gutted being gutted of books a i mean particular babe shout books. out to like come on shout out to the moms of liberty yeah shout out to the conf the daughters of the confederacy here's the thing this uh, is i'm sorry real quick yeah. shout out to school choice every single every single one of those things should not be partisan but it's completely partisan and apparent it's in your face so here's the thing and this is for everybody right this is for everybody if you don't want to be honest with yourself and you want to continue to be a part of, you know, the propaganda machine, sure, have at it. You can send as many links as you want. <laughs> but the fact of the matter is that statement alone tells me you've made a decision not to participate. You have bought in and no one is paying you for that. You've made a decision to sit on the sidelines. We well, didn't get where we got today overnight. So a third party solution isn't going to manifest itself overnight. Like Morgan said, this is about staying engaged and it works two different ways at the exact same time. We normalize third party candidates, of course, until the system changes, those third party candidates in the general will have to be Democrats. But at the same time, on the local level, we're getting progressive things done that benefit all citizens, not, you know, not the major corporations, not the lobbyists. So I say this as someone who's had to hear this when it comes to abolition, use some imagination. Use a little bit. So the, the same person said progressives need to take over the Democratic Party. That is the only solution. I hear you. That sounds so great. I can't wait for it to happen. There, I, I, want, I just have to say out loud, there are too many people that don't know what progressive really means. And progressive has become uh, a word like woke. Right. Yep. Yep. And not enough of the people are fighting back on any of that. And that's just messaging. <laughs> but we know that messaging works. We know that people sit with those things and they don't go back. Right. So all of a sudden, I mean, Portland is deemed to be progressive. Do you think it is? Because you can't. I mean, you absolutely cannot. Oh, ambush. We have to go. Yeah. I'm sorry, y'all. <laughs> Yeah, I really appreciate those texts, though, very, no, very, 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 very much. Yes. Like, fam, that was fun. Yes. You're listening to X-Ray FM at Carrick RY, Portland at 91.1 and 107.1 FM. And in the Halen, Wheeler, Manzanita, and Rockaway Beach at 91.7 FM, streaming online everywhere at xray.fm. Uh, we got a couple more uh, donations, amazingly, here. Uh, thank you, Natalie, for giving to... News of My Fiance, saying, I love News of My Fiance. It's the only talk radio news show I listen to with my kids. Damn. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, Joffrey gave again this time for News of My Fiance. Uh, clearly thinks you should have upped your goal from the standard starting one. He mm. said, uh, you guys should have asked for more than 300. I enjoy your commentary. Consider that the U.S. House, Senate, and President get campaign funds from big Israeli donors. Mm. As a former U.S. government teacher, you will never change the system without a new constitution that That's reorganizes it. the way we elect federal reps. 
You are doing great work. Good luck hitting your fundraising goal. Thank you. Thank you. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Shout out to everybody that um, participated today. Thank you so much. So very much. Um, going to make sure we update the uh, description uh, for the podcast to have everything that we played today. And again, don't let the individuals distract you from the systems. Poverty is a policy choice people over profits power to the people none of us are free until we're all free thank you so much for listening bye